Hey folks, welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Today we're going to do a unique float trip down the O'Connell River. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Yes, folks, my buddy Tim Maher runs one of the most unique guide services in the Midwest. And uh, we are, you live in O'Connell, and you guide all the rivers on the uh, western side of the Bay of Green Bay. You guide all over the state. But what is this float boat? This is a Flycraft Guide Series raft. It's 14 foot two, and we can draft in four inches of water. So we're able to get in all the places nobody else can. Well, that's what's so unique, you know, is the fact that uh, we're not going to see a lot of people today. We're going down the O'Connell. We might go down to Peshtigo this afternoon. But you're virtually in just such a beautiful nature type area, aren't you? Yeah, it's beautiful out here. There's not much for traffic. You don't hear anything but birds chirping and deer crunching and turkeys. You, you name it, we see it. Yeah, you get away from the crowds. And another thing I want to mention, you know, we're in April right now. So this is kind of a walleye float today. But it was we get into May, it's walleye, smallmouth, and northern and pike. Yeah, absolutely. The The end of this month, I think, is going to be when the smallmouths start to eat, and last year we did fantastic on them. And this is comfortable, buddy. These it's seats great. swivel, and you know, there's plenty of room, and old Ryan, the photographer, has got his own spot back there, so we're going to catch some walleyes? Yes, we are. Hey, folks, so the show we're using and how we're using it, all of that coming up right after this. Claw is the only hook made right here in the USA. They also make this Walleye Pro Series Kit. This Pro Series Walleye Tackle Kit includes everything you need for an avid walleye angler. Hooks and jigs for either plastics or live bait, beads, swivels, and more. This kit is also very convenient for travel. To check out everything from Eagle Claw, go to eagleclaw.com. Welcome back, folks. As we talked about at the top of the program, we're floating down the O'Connell River. We've got a beautiful April day. I'm in shorts. You don't have a big heavy coat on like when we were ice fishing a month no, ago. This is, uh, nice. this is just such a neat deal, folks. You got to try to do this uh, sometime. But we're we're targeting walleyes today. In two weeks, it'll be walleyes and smallmouth. So, what do you like to use here, buddy? I like the Kalen's jerk shad, man. This is my favorite bait. Okay. It's, this this is the killer for the for the walleyes. We do get some smallies on it too, but this is my favorite for walleyes. We'll have fun. Yes, we are. <laughs> Tim, I think that's your third cast of the day, isn't it, buddy? Yeah. I mean, this is, oh, look at this guy. That's a beautiful walleye, buddy. Look yeah. at the size of that fish. What are you gonna do there, hand grab him? Yeah. Wow, that is a way to start the day there, pal. Come here, buddy. You want the net or? I got no, it. look at it. Show the folks at home that fish. I mean, that is gorgeous. And you know, floating down the river like this, you know, we don't have to battle other people as we talked about. But what type of areas do you look for, Tim? I like little slack water flats off the backside of the islands, then little little spots little that they can get out of the current a little bit. Um, usually three, four feet of water. And you like the white color. Yeah, I like white a lot. Boy, you got this technique down pat, man. You've, you've actually had two other bites besides this one coming in, right? Yeah. Been... Oh, there he is. I, I can't believe the average size of the first two fish we caught there. You gonna hand land that guy too, Tim? Yeah, it's sometimes easier. Yeah, that's true in, in these quarters. But look at the size of this walleye, folks. I mean, that's just a beautiful fish. Nice job there, Tim. 
Oh, that is wonderful. You know, and again, if folks want to do this float trip, buddy, um, in a couple of weeks, you'll still be catching your walleyes, but you throw nice smallmouth into the mix too, huh? Oh yeah, we got some dandies last year. We had 22, 22 inches, six and a half pounds was the biggest. Wow, that's incredible. Beautiful fish. Thank you, buddy. Well, I am seeing one thing here so far, folks. The color can make a difference. And you're using the white jerk minnow? Yep. And you've been, and I haven't been bit yet on the different colors. So I'm going to switch to a white or a hair jig. Ooh, look at that fish. That is a beauty, Tim. And that is a pre spawn female. Now, when do you decide to take the net out? When, you, when we get real big ones? Yep. <laughs> I see why you wear those gloves. That's a good idea. Your hands will be pretty beat up. So this is a pre-spawn. So these guys, they, they should be done spawning by the end of the week, right? I think so with the hot temps we have the next couple of days. But with the, the winter coming again on Sunday, who knows? Yeah, right, we got a cold front coming early next week. Hey, there we go, I finally connected. And folks, I'll tell you what, I put one of those uh, uh, hair jigs on, which uh, uh, Kalen's came out with this year. And I'll tell you what, it worked right away there, Tim. Okay, here we go, buddy. Now that, you want to show them to the folks, that's probably a smaller female right yep. there, huh? Yep, it's got a belly on it, another pre-spawn. Now that hair jig deal is interesting, isn't it? I yeah. mean, that's been on fire on the bay for a couple of years, right? Yeah, it's been really good the last couple of years. Guys are cleaning house on them. Isn't that a pretty fish right yeah, there? Yeah, it buddy? is. Yeah, very nice. Oh, that's two in a row on that hair jig, buddy. You know, yeah. it, it, ooh, this feels like a pretty decent fish. And you can get giants, huh? Yeah, absolutely. 31 is the biggest one I got in the last couple years on the river, but there's bigger ones than that in here too. Look at that beautiful golden walleye coming in. That is so cool, buddy. And I want to tell the folks too, you know, Tim, you, you do these float trips basically on all the rivers in the state of Wisconsin. Look at that walleye. And um, what I love about your guide service is this is really reasonable. I mean, if you're going to do the rivers off the bay here, it's about an eight eight hour, 10 hour trip. And uh, it's really inexpensive, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a bad trip at all. It's, it's a lot less than what it is in the boat, big boats on the bay, that's for sure. And you run a special, um, if a dad takes his daughter or his son, the, they're free, is that Yeah, the 12 and under is free. Anybody oh. wants to bring a kid along, it's 12 and under is free. And what a great experience, right? Yeah, absolutely. I love taking kids, get them started young. Switching to the hair jig was the deal. That's yeah. four straight casts, Tim. That, that really is, is amazing, buddy. That's awesome. Look at that there, Tim. Look nice at that there, fish, buddy. buddy. Yeah, that is so cool, buddy. And and you know, folks, if you come and do this float trip with Tim, I think that one of the neat things is you don't have to have a bunch of equipment. If you can show the folks that, it's another beautiful walleye. But you don't have to, you've got all the equipment for everything. You've got rods and reels, and uh, all they got to do is bring themselves, right? Yep, yep, bring, bring themselves and a, a good rested arm because it's going to be sore when we're done. Now again, folks, the walleyes will stay in here for, wow, six, eight weeks you can catch walleyes, but you'll have the the influx of the smallmouth the end of April, so you don't know what you're going to catch on each cast. Yeah, it's awesome. We've gotten a couple 40 plus inch pike doing it too. So. Pike? Yeah, Ooh. buddy. It is kind of interesting what you do here, folks, is cast towards shore, and you'll, you let the river take the jig down a little bit, and as soon as it gets near the current, it seems like that's where we're getting our bites. And and uh, that's the smallest one of the day there, yeah, Tim. That is. Oh, the smallest one of the day. And uh, as I mentioned too, folks, uh, Tim does the Okano, the Peshtigo, the Menominee, the Pensaki. Uh, and you're actually opening up your business this year to do other parts of the state? Yeah, we're going to do some stuff on the Wolf and a couple other rivers. We're going to do some exploring a few different places. we got a lot of adventures planned. Yeah. It's so interesting, folks. When that, as soon as my jig gets near that current break, like I said before, that's when I'm getting whacked. You know, Tim, I can't tell you how much fun this is, buddy. Awesome day. That's Ooh, a good one. There's a dandy. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. 
and and again, the beauty. We got another float raft down here. Uh, that's your buddy. But folks, you, you don't see any of uh, the big motor boats down here. You don't hear any noise, and uh, it's just really such an incredible trip. Now, what is that about four pounder, buddy? Yeah. And we still do have a chance at a, at a giant. Yes, we do. Yesterday we had some 27, 28s. And we, we talked about, you know, the smallmouth being in here too and the northern pike, but there's also muskies in here. There's yeah, there trout is. in here. Absolutely. You got a chance at just about anything. Last year we got a 50-inch muskie while we were walleye fishing. And speaking of trout, by the way, folks, Tim and his partner do, do a lot of steelhead guiding in the, in the fall and in the spring, and you do them out of these boats too, huh? Absolutely. It's a, it's a riot hook and a big steelhead in this raft. Folks, it's time now to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2023 Fishing Contest. Russ Gernt of Slinger caught this 13 and a half inch perch on Lake Winnebago on a spoon. Bob Constali of Westby, Wisconsin caught this 30 inch walleye on the Mississippi River on a jig. Michael Molitor of Coon Rapids, Minnesota caught this 49 inch sturgeon on Pokegama Lake on a minnow. Christy Yang of Hugo, Minnesota caught this 30 inch walleye on Lake of the Woods on a fathead. And this week's kids winners are Landon Hiller of Johnsburg, Illinois, caught this 14-inch crappie on the chain of lakes on a crappie scrub. And Che Byron of Blaine, Minnesota, caught this 31-inch eel pot on Lake of the Woods on a minnow. Each week, I shop online at fleetfarm.com to check out the latest deals. This week, the Acme V-Rods are on sale for $5.99 and save 50% on the 1-3 Source X spinning reel on sale for Live imaging shows you what's below in real time with edge-to-edge -edge clarity and no gaps in coverage. All so you can turn must-watch detail into non-stop action. Only from Humminbird. You know, folks, with my buddies using leeches and crawlers all day, I'm glad I've got the Johnson Pump washdown kit. All I can do then is spray down the boat and get all that stuff out of there. But the Johnson Pump washdown kit has another use. It's 92 degrees and humid today. Now watch. I'll take care of my buddy Tom in the back. Ah, there, there we go, Tommy! Hey, man! <laughs> what do you think of that, buddy? I love it. I need one. Yeah. Can he put them on pontoon boats? They're great for pontoon boats. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Wait until my wife has sees that one. I'm going to get her, too. <laughs> now, that one was pretty tight to the bank there, right? Yeah, I grabbed it on the drop. So what these walleyes do, they'll slide up on these flats and slide off, and different groups of fish come in all day long, huh? Yep, yep. Okay, there you go, buddy. I, I netted him the wrong way, tail first, yeah, but he's still him. in there. And and you know what's interesting thing, too, that uh, uh, Tim loves to use the jig and the plastic, but you really love that uh, that Google Eye jig, huh? Yeah, I do. I do love the Google Eye. That's my favorite. Yeah, there you go. And, and you, you just like that little rattle that's in there? Yeah, that glass rattle. It gives it just a little something extra, and man, the fish sure love it been a killer on Green Bay and on the tributaries for me for years. I, I want to talk a little bit about changing the retrieves on these fish. Sometimes you can actually be too aggressive, you yeah. know. Let's see what we got here. Nice and slow yesterday was the thing. That Whoa. looks like a good one there. Yeah. Whoa, look at that one there, Tim. 
Nice. No, what I was saying, folks, and I've done it several times today, is change my retrieve. And, and you've seen me work jigs before. I'm sometimes too aggressive and too big of pops. But, uh, boy, show how he ate that. Look at that, That's Tim. gone. That is gone. But uh, sometimes in this colder water, you want to slow your retrieve down, huh, Tim? Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes you leave it paused for three seconds on the bottom and they'll grab it. Yeah. And again, when you're doing this, you look for the slack water right buddy yep little flat slack water how big is that one that's, that's four pounds yeah yeah well, that was a fun fight too yeah buddy now that one was real close into the shoreline there that might be a better fish could be a better fish yeah it seems like it's pulling you never get hard. tired of this this no. kid grew up in o'connell fished every day when he was a kid now as an adult you never get tired of it do you no no this is the best thing ever john coming up okay there we go it's under the chin there we go buddy there's another dander yeah no but uh you know tim does this every day folks all his life and still gets excited about doing it and uh you know today we happen to catch a beautiful day in april but uh, there are days out here where you've got wind and rain and whatever but i think the neat thing tim about fishing in the river is normally you're kind of protected from the wind right yeah for the most part we can find somewhere we can tuck out of the wind and get in a little slack water and smack some of these beauties another thing i'm amazed at how well your anchor's holding us we haven't moved a bit have we no this boat holds in great it's stable and holds in perfect for us nice one tim we go Thanks, buddy. we should tell the folks we actually go through three or four minutes of not getting a bite and and that's just because these fish are moving up and down the river all the like time and fish. we'll see what this one is feel pretty good huh yeah it seems solid oh look at this guy now there is a there is a dandy right there tim thank you sir and you know that is you know fishing in a raft like this you'd think it would be uncomfortable it's not uncomfortable at all folks You've got the swivel seats here you can move around and uh there's certainly plenty of room to cast you know yeah it's awesome i it it's it's kind of tight quarters compared to a boat but in this this form here it works out pretty darn good and actually folks in the back of the boat if you you know get stiff legs or whatever you can stand up and fish in the back too right? yeah you can stand up in your front too oh really well hey i'm too relaxed here breaking news from fleet farm check out this deal 20 percent off the power pro 150 yard fishing line on sale starting at 1439 I can't get over the fight in the current, you know that? I mean, walleyes do fight good in my opinion, but you add some current into the mix, it's pretty, it's something else, isn't it? Yeah, they're fighting good. Okay, let me steer them over there. Ooh, is that That's a nice, nice fish. fish, huh? There we go. Yeah, you know, I was never a believer in those hair jigs. You know, until Dale Stoshine started using them and Brett Jolly started using them. And folks, I'd be down five, six, seven to one using plastic against the hair. Not saying that plastic doesn't work, but the, that hair jig, there's something about it. I don't, you know. That's working great today, that's for sure. And you know, those came out really back in the 1960s and were real popular. And then you didn't see them for a while. But I'll tell you what, walleyes love them. Look at the beautiful coloring on those fish too, isn't it, Tim? Absolutely. They're gorgeous right now. These are coming from nice clear water, so they got all the markings on them. So just to give you an idea, folks, we've been out here about, what, two hours? Yeah, I think so. And, oh, there we go. Are you going to hand land Yeah, that? I'll grab them. It's just a basic... Just a small one, like you say. Yeah. But no, we fish all day. We got a shot at the high 20s. And I want to show the folks some of the, you know, big female before the day is over. But, I mean, this is just phenomenal fast fishing. And uh, for folks that have never caught walleyes before, I highly recommend this trip. It's it's pretty easy once you get the jigging down. Yeah. And if, you know, by next week, the smallies will be in here too. Yeah, it'll be a great mixed bag here in a week or two. It's going to be great. I got to tell the folks, I actually just lost one of Matty B's hair jigs in a tree. So I just read tied and did, did you put a different color on me for me uh same one same Pur one purple and gold okay there we go another cookie cutter 22 23 inch yep. fish no but i mean colors do make a a, a big difference and uh, i've seen days 
especially on the Bay of Green Bay where I'm using white or green china color and a darker color of purple will make the difference and and that's a, another beautiful fish and they're eating that pretty good now are these post-spawn fish yeah these are still post-spawn fish or pre-spawn pre I'm sorry pre-spawn pre-spawn I think we only caught a couple that are post-spawn so okay. far so again as we look forward to the end of April and May there'll still be walleyes in here and they'll be the smallmouth yes sir Meet Chris McGillis of McGillis Weimer, experienced personal injury lawyers. A lot of the people that watch your show, I mean, those are the type of customers and clients that we have, right? I mean, good people care about their community. They're passionate about the outdoors. That's just been a way to have a bond with somebody in a relationship. To truly tell a, a client's story to a jury or a judge and be persuasive, I really think you got to be able to walk in their shoes and, and, and be able to explain why what happened to them matters. Lynn at the Amsoil Mechanical Lab, and I really wish our ratchet strap still looked like this. Well, that hasn't been on the road with you and your dad That's getting all true. salty and beat up in the wintertime, but I've got two solutions for you here. All right. If you want to keep it looking that good, you're going to use the Amsoil Heavy Duty Metal Protector, and what this stuff will do is it puts a coating on that part, okay. and it won't let the salt get to it, and then it won't rust, so it'll stay looking new. If you've abused them, like we know you may have already done, and they're all rusty in the back of the truck, yeah. that's where you want to use the metal protector. This product will spray on there. It's full of anti-corrosion and a bunch of different cool stuff, and it'll free that rust and get the thing working like brand new. Wow, awesome. For more information, go to amsoil.com. You know, Tim, after a day of good fishing, there's nothing better than Johnsonville's, right? There's not. Okay, not yet. I got to tell you what we got here today. This is Johnsonville rope sausage, okay? It's absolutely de delicious. This is uh, better with cheddar. Now, this is 100% premium smoked pork, and then they infuse that with Wisconsin cheddar cheese, and they're pre-cooked. So all you got to do is put them on the grill for about five or ten minutes, and they are good to go. Good, well, good smoky cheddar flavor. That's a good sausage. Isn't John. that all? They're going to love those in Ocano, Wisconsin, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah. Hey, folks, look for Better with Cheddar Johnsonville Rope Sausage at your favorite retailer today. Yes, you hooked up again. Yeah, Do we ever get to take a break? I mean, why take a break? Yeah, yeah. it's when you get snagged and you retie. That's yeah. your break. buddy there we go another dandy there no and i'll tell you what too folks when you're fishing rivers the size of the jigs that you use is very important uh, we don't have a lot of current today so we're using a three quarter ounce uh, uh, jig head but in the summertime when when the water's even lower uh, you go to a lighter jig head right yeah i use quarter ounce and even sometimes lighter than that have you by any chance kept count on our fish today? I have not. I ooh, look at this guy here. That's there he a is. fat one. Yeah the, yeah, the build on these walleyes is extremely impressive. You know, we were out on Lake Erie last week, and you know, I thought those fish were built well, but these fish are really heavy duty, aren't they? Yeah, they're built like tanks. Yeah, nice and thick. And interesting today, folks. You know, if you watch my show, you know I'm always about plastic, but uh, it's the hair jig today all the way, man. I'm like a kid in a candy shop out here today, and you know, other than your buddy's raft, we have seen no other boats. No, that's And you great. go fish some of the popular spots this time of year, how many boats are out there? You know, four mm. or five hundred. This is the way to do it. There we go. Ooh, folks, ooh, take a gander at that walleye there, Timmy. That's a nice one. Yeah. That's a post -mine. And you know, the other neat thing too, folks, about doing this, when Tim runs his trips, he likes to go from about six in the morning till three or four in the afternoon. But today we didn't start until what, nine o'clock? Yeah, nine, nine thirty. we got out here fishing. And we're catching them just like it's in prime time. Yes, sir, it's been great. That's three straight casts, folks, that I've had a walleye. Three straight casts. I can't even eat my orange. No, I know, and of course you gotta keep helping net mine. And boy, are they eating that thing too. 
You know that? Showing it. The average size fish that we've caught today, folks, is probably 22 inches long. And, you know, anytime that you're out here, you have that one, that shot at the big butt trophy that you're looking for. And uh, once opening day comes in that first Saturday in May, how many can you keep? Five apiece. This is kind of neat, folks, when we get towards the end down here. You got to go through a series of little rapids. They're not dangerous or anything, but it's really, really cool. And uh, this raft today has been so stable and so comfortable. And we got one more spot to fish, huh, Tim? Yeah. One more spot to fish before we go in. But what a wonderful day, I'll tell you. It has been awesome. No, I'll tell you what, Tim. It's been such a marvelous day of fishing, buddy. I can't think of anywhere I'd rather be today. You know that? It's awesome. And here we go. Ooh, ooh that is a pretty nice one right there. Whoa. Coming around this side. Now he's going to be around this side here. And there we go. And uh, you know, it has been interesting today that how all these fish are so similar in size. And uh, you know, again, this fishing is going to last quite a while here. And uh, these are just beautiful walleyes to catch, you know. Many places in the country that uh, I would say that that's a trophy, not a trophy, but a big fish. You know? Yeah. It's definitely a nice thick fish. And and again, so quiet today, right? It's been a beautiful, quiet day. Yep, just saw your buddies and that was about it. But look at the beautiful coloring on that fish. Real Pretty. gold, lovely. Tim Maher does really cool float trips down all the tributaries of the Bay of Green Bay on a daily basis. For more information, give Tim a call. That phone number is 920-604-4169. 604-4169. If you are a spring walleye fisherman, grab some of these. They're an incredible bait. Kalins, rattling googly eye, hair jigs. Right there, Ryan. Ooh, that one pounded it. Wow, dude, that is my first cast. Beautiful walleye right there on the hair, man. Perky, lively, smacking hair jigs. Doesn't get much better, does it? Big, fat, chunky spring walleyes. Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. Tim, let's talk a little bit now. You got any openings for folks that might want to do this? Yeah, I'm a little booked up this week, but after that, I have some openings. If people want to get out, just give me a call. And, got... it's not, and it's not just the walleyes, it's the smallmouth too. Yeah, we got smallies coming. The big pike will start to feed here. It's going to be a good, good month. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish at. We will find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying. John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. <laughs> <laughs>